Hello, welcome to Beganology. As you know, we all for coronavirus need a protection. Same way, whenever we are doing something with heat, like burning or some that type of thing, you should be very cautious. This whole thing needs adult supervision, strictly under adult supervision. As well as we will find in places, if there is any burning, we always keep water. So I am keeping the water ready, keeping the water ready here if anything happens or if any fire hazard happens with electrical appliance, I am keeping the sand ready. I suggest same way you can do it if you do not have fire extinguisher. So here we are. Now I am starting a very simple thing which I have told before, boiling water in a paper cup. So the things are very simple, but instead of tripod stand, you can use the other way. You can even use oven with a an iron something where you can put the paper cup. This paper cup is easily burn. It can burn very easily. I will just show you. So this is a simple candle and this is a simple paper cup. We will also require some water. So this simple paper cup I am just once before doing with water, I am just showing with burning candle so that you will understand what is happening and this is no magic cup. There is no magic in this cup, just simple paper cup. So when I am putting in normal fire, within few seconds we can see smoke is coming and if you count maybe within 10 seconds or 15 seconds it will start burning. That's a common phenomenon. So it's burning. Okay. So it's a very common normal paper. So it will burn which is normal. Now when we give some water in it and then put it in hot temperature, generally the candles temperature reach up to 500 degrees Celsius. Although we have a thermometer, I don't want to check a candles temperature because this will break. Any mercury or any alcoholic thermometer. So this is an alcoholic thermometer. So we can see the normal temperature of water. This is air temperature. That is 28. Just give me one more paper cup. And this is water temperature. I can show you. I hope you can see. Yeah, it's less than air temperature. Now when you are boiling water in a paper cup, the temperature changes. Can you see the temperature? No, just a second. Is it better? Yes, 
So temperature is increasing. So we will see later on how far it's going. Let it boil meanwhile. Meanwhile, we will do another very simple experiment, which you may have read in the book, but never dare to do it. It's very simple. You take a steel, steel scale, steel or any metallic scale. Now, you need a candle. Instead of these two stand, you can simply put two brick or two uh, book, book stand or anything. Now in this, here are inch and centimeter written. So you can take toothpick or you can take pin. Well, in most of the book written pin, but I found even toothpick also do the same thing. We have tried it. So, this is the steel scale. In each inch or three centimeter, two and a half centimeter, I am putting some wax. So, I am starting from two or three centimeter because my candle is somewhere in between, not exactly in the corner. So here I am keeping this attached or if you wish to, you can even put some pin attached here. So we can do alternatively just to check, you can give alpine or you can give pin. This I am using both pin because it has more surface area, but you can have normal pin also and then toothpick. So this way you can continue up to the full. We have already had done some set here. One only the toothpicks and here we have done some other thing. So what we can do is we can start this and you see what happens. Here basically I am attached to this into So I hope you are able to see just a second. So one already fallen down. So I will ex exchange this with what we made. So here remember one pin, one So one pin, one board pin, board pin and one toothpick. So here I am putting it. Remember heat goes very fast. Just a second, let me adjust a little bit.
one has fallen down, doesn't matter, we can do again. Here remember this wax is not very hot about 60 degrees Celsius although it can give you a little burning sensation but it does not harm. So we have with wax easily attached it and now this whole thing I am putting it on candle. Look here the first thing which will fall is nearest one. Why? Because basically the molecules which is metal in the metal is conducting. We call conduction. I hope you are able to see where one molecule pushes other, pushes third one, pushes, pushes fourth one and this way the last one goes and the molecule become hot and then that dissolves the wax candle which you put there and so the thing fall, falls. But remember one when falls when one falls look here can you see when one falls then the next one is here about 2 or 2 3 centimeter distance means about 1 inch distance. So, there is something known as inverse square law. So, basically as the distance increases, it will take more and more time, double the time. So, if you remember the Birbal's story, Akbar when said that someone to be in the water, in the cold for the whole night and so he will give money for for that. One poor fellow uh, become ready for it and was whole night in a pond in a cold winter. After that when Akbar said okay you were there what you have seen what you have done are you really without any heating thing? So he said truthfully that long distance there was a someone was uh, litting a small uh, fire for small lantern, small lantern. I have seen that and the whole night I have seen that and with that I just gone the whole night. Then Akbar said, oh you have got the warmth of that lantern so I cannot give you any money. After that this fellow gone to Birbal and you know Birbal. Birbal after few days call king and everyone to his home to have food. Everyone came and Birbal said okay wait wait. He has put just a candle and kept a uh, handi the, the container on top of the top of a branch of a tree and <laughs> he said wait wait let it cook. So the king Samrat Agbar said what you have not cooked yet you called us. He said no no it's just cooking my candle is right here it's there and it's cooking. So Akbar said, how come it will cook? It should be on the chula itself burning that then only it will happen. Then Birbal <laughs> laughed and said, okay, if this heat cannot cook that khichdi, then how come a lantern which is about a furlong distance in one house can give warm to a person who was in the meat of the pond. So basically the thing is distance when increases it takes more time and double the time I mean square of the time. So you will learn in future inverse square law. So until that 
let me tell you it takes time so here you can see it's taking long time it's coming maybe but first one has fallen down meanwhile we will see something here put it in the other camera camera so here it's already burning boiling so we will just see the temperature here it's gone oh my god oh next one fallen down can you see no just a second I have to just change the angle of the camera. Look here. Yeah. So it reached about 85, 88 degrees Celsius. So you can boil water in a paper cup. So you can easily boil water in a paper cup and take the tea bag, make tea give a little sugar and maybe if you want a little milk and you can drink from right here how this is happening and this is what amazing thing of water water has very high heat capacity we call it because of something you will understand later on that is hydrogen bonding and h and oh bonding in between oxygen electron and hydrogen electron there is a strong attraction so whatever reason is it has a tremendous heat capacity and it boils in 100 degrees celsius but burning paper needs 233 degrees celsius a candle has 500 degrees celsius so it can burn easily you have seen within 15 seconds we have burned the paper but in this case as water is there, water is not allowing it to burn. So here we are. So here we are. Suppose we take a wet cloth and put in fire. What happens? We will see that. So look here, front uh, side. Here. So I got a cloth, I am wetting it in water, now cloth burn more easily than paper, so I am putting it here in the fire, can you see it is burnt, this black is only carbon, it is not burnt, we can see the vapor is coming out, but it is not burning. So that is why we always keep water ready. So anything happens, we give water. Any fire, we give water because water has very high heat capacity. So it takes the heat away. If anyone burning in the whole body, we try to get something a thick kambal or something, wet it in water and keep it around. The moment we keep it, the fire which was burning someone's body or someone's cloth, which needs well 200 to 50 degrees Celsius at least, immediately reduced to 100 or less. So water will evaporate from the body, from the thing, but fire will extinguish immediately. So there we are, so you can easily boil water in a paper cup, anywhere you like to, you don't need tripod stand, you can just put something on gas burner like, like some, some, even, even the roti sekne wala, some, some cover or some sieve or anything, on top of it you put paper cup and you see it will boil. But if you don't give water, then it will not. 
So here we are. So you see, this is happening, it will take time and that is why whenever we use uh, any utensil, the handle always covered by something else, not iron or metallic. Reason is this temperature, the molecule carries the temperature and it heats on your hand when you are cooking or anyone. So we keep something insulated like wooden or plastic. So this is a simple thing I have shown you. Now, I will show you one very interesting feature known as tea bag flying. So a simple tea bag, any tea bag will do, but you have to see that tea bag is cut properly. So what I am doing here, So cut the tea bag, remove all the tea. Now when you are removing, you should be very careful. Not a single speck of tea should be there. So if you get better, better tea bag, costly one, you will have easily things will come out. So, can you see the tea bag? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this one, right. This I made a chimney sort of. Okay. Now look here what I am doing. I just put fire on it. gone up. Now it's coming down. Now ash is coming down. So this was the ash of the tea bag which has some weight so it will surely come down. Gravity is pulling it even if it's maybe few milligram weight. But why it gone up that time? Because it was so, so less wet now after burning that the hot air pulled it up. So hot air goes up, you can easily test it. But remember, remember, strictly under adult supervision. So don't do that yourself and don't burn yourself. Be aware of it. So this you have understood. The next one taking more time, maybe Birbel's time. So it will take long time. So as you go, here it's too hot, but as you go the other side, the heat becomes less and less because of molecules carry the heat to different level. So I hope you have understood how to do it. Now I will show you another simple. So, so we learn conduction. We learn
the convection in this case air current but we will see convection in water also water so here we are this i am using a borosil glass just to show you you can use other utensil no problem this the thing is you should not use normal glass this is borosil glass which is fire resistant that is in heat it will not break otherwise if you use other glasses usually it breaks so here we are i am taking some water in it i am putting it heater but before i put in heater let me show you can you see the heat if you take the temperature well i will not go much near because it's so hot it's more than 500 degree celsius right now here so i will show you it's not too much here here is about 50 degree 45 i suppose So I can stand here, no problem, 45-50 degrees. Can you see? So around 70 degrees Celsius. Okay. So this heat which I am getting or this thermometer is getting is not directly. There is no, nothing is connected with it. So this type of heat we call radiation. Although to be, uh, to be frank, it's not exactly true. Here is air. So air also giving convection. But radiation is just like sun or any light or any source from there you get heat from long distance. So that is what we call radiation. Okay. So from sunlight you are getting heat in a long distance or from here I am getting heat long distance. Now I am putting the water here. It will take a little time to heat up. Doesn't matter. Meanwhile, we can talk. So here in this water is heating up. For that we need Nothing much. I have used mustard seed. You can use any small speck, even rice, uh, small pieces of rice or wheat or anything which you can get, which is small enough. You can put it on water. When you are putting it, one or two may float, but mostly not. So this which is floating may have some air trapped in it. Right now it's not hot yet, will take long time. So it doesn't matter. But let me tell you. So radiation comes from sun, from star, from moon. Can we get radiation from moon? Can photosynthesis happen at moonlight? Okay, no. <laughs> moon is something like reflector, very similar to a mirror. So just mirror reflects the light of sun or any light. Same way moon reflects light of sun. 
which is not direct light and we cannot get any heat out of it. So infrared light or heat which is coming, which is coming from sun. How sun is making so many, so much heat? Well, amazing. We came to know only very recently, maybe in 20 years time when we start making hydrogen boom. What is that? Well, you will learn later on. It is in 11-12 science. But basically, after making it, we realize how dangerous it is. One bone, only one, one bone, bone, one bone can destroy half a country like India. It's much bigger than atom bomb. When Hiroshima and Nagasaki was destroyed by bombing atom bomb, before that, the Americans has not realized its exact implication. So they thought fascist Germany, which that time was nearly reduced, and fascist Japan may take over the whole world. And so they wanted to stop Japan from aggress aggressiveness. And so they put one bomb in Hiroshima Still, Japan has not surrendered. Next day, they put another bomb in Nagasaki. Then Japan said, okay, stop, stop. Meanwhile, millions of people died. And the person who has bombed it in a plane, unknowingly what he is doing, he could not think of that. And he has done suicide. He said, it's too much. So, what is this hydrogen? Well, you know helium, you know hydrogen, I hope you know, if you don't know, one hydrogen and another hydrogen, if by chance has been fixed together and to make a helium, well, basically hydrogen has atomic number one, atomic weight one, helium has atomic number two, atomic weight four. So for that we need special hydrogen and special thing, we make helium. Well, we made helium, the small, small pieces which was there, here and there, electron, etc. We call positron and neutrino, etc. These all come out as a tremendous energy. That is what first time was told by Einstein known as E is equal to mc square. Okay. When we were talking this, let me explain a little bit of what I am doing experiments. Well, here look. There were some seed which I have given in water which fallen down, right? The moment it fallen down, after some time, it's gaining a bubble. From where bubble come? Well, this is heating up. Okay, let me take the temperature. We got about 60 degree here, but some molecules here is changing into some molecules gaining the water vapor and attaching with this seed and making it come up. When this is happening, you see some seeds going down also. Why it's going down? It's released that vapor and water actually ideally is happening from the center of this water is becoming hot and going up and then hot air cooling down in the side and coming down again. When it is reaching on the base again it's heating up. So this type of thing we call convection.
so what what is happening here the molecule which was molecule which was cold become hot gone up and then it cool down and coming back again so it's a sort of a a, a change of molecules are happening which is said to be will keep on happening until all water start boiling boiling means all water become gas vapor in 100 degree celsius and all will start evaporating when everything evaporates then it will not happen so today we have done boiling water in a paper cup front first slide tea bag flying which is say showing the conduction only sorry convection only and then we have seen the convection of water which needs heater so i kept it for the last because we need to change the things and it's very hot so and then we have done conduction with scale so here here two type of item we have done one with toothpick another with pin normal pin you can also do the thing is initially i thought metal is required but then i thought okay this that one so basically this pin or this is normal one but we can have even to pick why not so basically heat is dissolving the wax so it may not be this may not be metallic you can take anything you can take earbud and put it in the wax no problem anything which is suitable because here wax is melting wax is melting because the molecules of the metal molecules of the metal become hot and going to next 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 they are pushing next and ultimately it dissolving the wax which dissolves in 60 degrees celsius okay so there we are let me just check once the temperature It's about 80 degree, 90 degree, 89, 88 degree. So more or less all these have came up. You can see all these came up. Now no one wants to go down <laughs> because everyone become hot. Okay. So thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and do these experiments but surely take adult supervision don't do it alone and take total care when you are doing it thank you keep on watching beginnerology we will keep on coming to you but if any anything special you want please mail us we have begun club at the red gmail.com